What's up guys and welcome to another review, basically, and it's about the Leeds game, and I know, I kind of fucked up with the last one, I was meant to like, edit it and then put it up for the day before it came out, which was meant to be Saturday, I, for I didn't end up doing that, so it came out after the game on Sunday, which it wasn't even meant to come out after the game, confusion, but anyway, yeah, that's, that one's already out, and now this is out for obviously the game on Sunday, which, if you don't know anything about it, we might have beat Leeds 2-1. We just might have. The quick summary, we won 2-1, Hefley scored the winner, I'm still waiting on a never inform for, from EA, and speaking of inform, video idea coming soon, you'll, you'll see. But yeah, that game was absolutely like, just, I was gassed the whole way through, the atmosphere and stuff was absolutely sick. Like honestly, that was probably the best game for atmosphere and everything like that I've been to, and the fact that... It's a big game for us, obviously, just because it's a local derby and, you know, we generally don't like to lose to Leeds. It's kind of a thing. So, to win against Leeds, that means they can't brag about anything, or the people that, that are Leeds fans that do brag, they can't. And then... <sighs> and if you think of it, Leeds are actually a good team this year. And we've beaten them, and we beat Brighton before, and that's six points in two games, which I expected to get four, maybe? I expected... To clinch a win against Leeds, which I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't as easy as the games we've done before. It was still more or less deserved, but it would have been it wouldn't have been bad if we got a draw. Aside from the the, the things that happened in the game, for example, but a shit ref again, a fucking awful, awful, awful ref. And the fact that we can probably complain that their goal was offside. And yeah, they're probably gonna complain that our goal was offside, but I I know ours wasn't, because you can see from on Sky's like actual thing, because I went back after the game and actually found some like clips and pictures and saw that he was more or less perfectly in line. Like I haven't seen a better straight line than that. Hef was not offside to score that last goal. As for theirs, I'm just going to carry on complaining it is. I ain't checked that one, I didn't bother going that far. <laughs> By as much. But otherwise, I'm super glad that we got the win. Also, another bit of controversy on the side of the game. Yeah, you know, um, Wagner going to celebrate with his players again. Last time he did that, I think he... I don't, I don't even remember what happened last time he got that. It's, it's bullshit why that's not a thing. I get it's, it's passionate. It's, it makes sense. And I don't get why Leeds fans are saying it's too far to go and celebrate with your own players. And then for some reason, Gary Monk's like, that's disgraceful. How the hell can you leave your box on the pitch to celebrate with your players after you've won? How do you do that? When in reality, how the fuck have you just scored that goal? Why are you winning? I'm pissed off. I'm salty as salt bay and all that shit. Fuck that, and then pretty much when Wagner was walking back to his thing, and you can you quite clearly see this, and I'm pretty sure Garman more or less admitted what he did in one of his interviews, where people are still back him thinking, Wagner's fault. I'll quickly sum it up. Basically, Wagner was walking past Monk, um, going back to his thingy, Monk purposely stepped out, clearly just put his shoulder in the way, so there was no way that Wagner was going to walk past him without touching him. He he literally blocked him. And then Wagner was like, what, what the fuck are you doing? And then beef started. And then all the players came over, and shit. And in, in the end, both managers sent to the stands. And then we ended up with like eight minutes extra time, and we only went to have four. <laughs> Aside from that, let's get to the game. So the game itself, though, was a sick game from start to finish. The hype was sick, and then it's I don't. <laughs> I'm just rushing. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Pretty gas that AZ Brown is like on some sick form. Like he's been playing so good. So when he went and scored that first goal, I I've I've never been more gassed. Like I jumped so much. Like I was so brain like mad. All of us were to be fair in the South Stand. Every in everywhere in the stands, all stands, except the leads part of the South Stand. Don't think they were celebrating there. Yeah, I was gassed that we got that goal, and then we were just buzzing from that point onwards, and then. And like five minutes later, bullshit wave for Chris Wood to score, pissed me off. And then yeah, that that happened. And then we were still buzzing though. I still find it funny how every time they're trying to sing marching on together, we just every single fucking fan of this and boost the shit out of it. And just, you can't hear it anymore. I know we normally do that, but it's just funny because it's the chant I hate the most. Not just because it's the least chant. It just, it cringes me out. I hate the fucking chant. It needs to die. <laughs> Back to the game though. So yeah, one all going into half time and that. And the game was a bit end to end in the first part of the game. They were starting to step in more. Better than other teams have tried to like come and attack. Like we can close them off a lot faster. Stop them having that much majority of possession. Like we still had more like 56%. But we can have 60 easily on most people. You're closer to 70 so fair play to them I guess for that. And yeah, and then afterwards you just... We just get pissed off at all their fans and the ref for about 30 or 40 minutes. Because nothing happened other than utter bullshit and the fact that we were 
so close to scoring so many times and we didn't and to be fair they were pretty close to scoring a few times and they didn't and then we were just on the edge of the seats and I was like this game we like I would be take a draw but I want to win because I know we've been leading so I know we can get a win so then when a second goal came about I saw that my other shot and then from that point I didn't really see what the fuck happened with the ball I didn't know that I saw a deflection, I didn't know what hell happened. I don't know who scored, like, like I know Hef scored now, but I didn't know who scored at that point until it came up on the board with the scoreboard on and it showed a picture of Hef like, saying he scored. Only then did I know Hef scored it. So I was gassed even away because all I was doing, I saw it deflect, I was like, I, I know it's in the box. I'm obviously at the end of the pitch, so I can't fully see the detail. I know it's in that box. Someone needs to kick that, the fuck in that net now. And then eventually I saw it go into the net and I was jumping for about four years and it was gassed, yeah. And then at that point, that's obviously when a Wagner Monk thing happened and I've already said that so I'm not going to go over it again. But yeah, we were just gassed for the whole time and that, that was sick, that was fucking sick. So then that's how it ended, 2-1. And we just, I say we dominated, nowhere near as much as other teams, but I say we still did quite well. We deserved the win. I'm too gassed about the game, too gassed about the scoreline, which is also the game, doesn't make any sense. Two guys that have scored, there's nothing else I can really say, and that, that yeah, that's it. <laughs> Six points against two big teams, we're now ahead of Leeds, with a game in hand, which is the game we should have played against Wolves, but we had an FA Cup victory even. That would be in like, uh, two or so weeks, two or three weeks. But the next game is against QPR away, I won't be after that one. And then our next home game, I think, is the City game. And then the next home game after that is literally the Tuesday, which is Reading in the Championship. So I think next Championship game is against Reading. But the next game that I will be doing for this is the City game at home. So shout out to that. Like, why am I saying shout out to a game? I will be there. If they put it that way, I'll be there. So yeah, that's the next video on that. I've got some other stuff I'm going to put out in between, obviously. But yeah, that is it. So anyway, what's your thoughts on the Leeds game? Talk, you can talk about anything about it. I want to know what you think. And if any, obviously, I'm assuming a lot of you were there. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, obviously. And if you did enjoy, smash the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe on both of things, as well as the comments are down below. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys in my next video, and see ya!